In this video, I'm going to show you how to use enum in C. So enum is something we can use to define our own sort of types. So I could say here enum day, and then this is defining a day type. And now I'm going to provide the values that a day type could be. So I'll say like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll say Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what I can do then is I can actually create variables of type day and assign them these values then. So I could say like enum day, and I'll say today is equal to Tuesday. And I could say enum day, and I could say yesterday is equal to Monday. And enum day tomorrow is equal to, we'll say Wednesday. And these are valid now. Like I can actually assign Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday to today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And what's actually going on here is that each one of these here is really an integer. So it's really going to be an integer value. And C just assigns integer values in order. So Monday is going to be 0, Tuesday is going to be 1, Wednesday is going to be 2, and so on. So if I were to print out these values, we're going to find that they're actually really integers. So I'll say like today, percent D, and I'll say today. And then I'll output the same sort of thing for yesterday and tomorrow. So I'll say yesterday yesterday and I'll say yesterday here and they'll do the same thing for tomorrow and we're gonna find that these are actually integers okay tomorrow tomorrow and we'll do a recompilation here and we'll run it and we get yesterday is zero today is one tomorrow is two and that's because Wednesday is two Tuesday is one Monday is zero Thursday is gonna be uh, three and then Friday is gonna be four five six and so on and that's how C actually internally handles these things, is, is it creates an int value that represents each one of these things when you use an enum. Now, it's actually possible to override this. So if I did this, if I said Friday is equal to 20, normally it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, Friday would be 4. But now what I've done is I've actually manually assigned the constant value of 20 to Friday. So I could say here, Friday, percent D, slash n and I'll output Friday and we're going to find that Friday is now 20 instead of being four so we'll say that we run it here we get Friday is 20. I could do the same thing with other days too like I could say here maybe Tuesday is going to be now nine and this will then assign Tuesday which was today to now being nine Right, and so we can re we can reassign different values depending on what they want what we want them to be. So now, as to why we would use enum, the idea is that it could make our code easier to read because if we have values like these that reflect the type of thing that we're actually working with, it might make our code just easier to reason about because the value then reflects what it is we're actually talking about as opposed to a number like nine or 20 or something like that. So in some sense, enums are kind of like constants. They're actually a lot like constants. They have scope though. So like if I put enum inside of this main, then unlike say a define statement, which would have the file scope, this would have the scope of this main function. So that's one thing with enums is they have scope. And another example we could give of using an enum we can also use type def with enum. So we could say here type def and we could then say enum and we could say maybe button and we'll say a button can be on or a button can be off. And then we'll say button here. And with type def and enum, what we're doing here is we're saying type def this thing to be this name. And if you, if we use like say type def and then int and then something, we would be giving another name to the int type values. So what we're doing with type def here is we're using button here as a synonym for enum button. And what that means is that instead of saying enum something to make an enum, we can just use this name here. We can just say button. So I can just say like button and I could say like power and I could say is equal to on. And then we can do a print F of the power button. And we're going to find that, you know, that's going to be zero again, because that's the first thing in the list of possible enum types. And again, we could have redefined it to be something else, but we're just gonna leave it because there's no difference to us. So I'm just gonna clear this here, run this here, and we're gonna get here power set to zero there. And you know, we could, we could make functions that use enums as well. So we could maybe make a function to maybe flip a, a button's power or, you know, 
tell us whether the button is on or off or something like that. So we'll make some functions to work with buttons here. We'll say like, we'll say button switch or button press. It'll take in the button and it'll be like current button. And then we'll make a print button. So we'll say void print button here. And we'll make two functions for working with buttons. And we'll say that button press is gonna flip a button from on to off. And it's gonna return the, the, the new state. And print button is going to print a button whether it's on or off. And we'll, it'll do like a pretty print of the button's current state. It'll just say like on or off or whatever it is. So print button is just gonna look at the button state and just say if it's on, print on, if it's off, print off. So we'll say if current is equal to on, we're gonna do a print F like that's nice and pretty. We'll say on else if current is equal to off, we'll do a print F and we'll say off and we'll do like a nice pretty printout of the button state. And then the button press is just going to flip it. It's just going to return off if it's on and on if it's off. So if if the current button is on, return off. Else if the current button is off, return on. And I guess I should actually, I'll put this in an else actually instead, just because it's going to be one or the other. And I don't want to really have a possible branch of execution where we don't return something from this function. So I'm just going to do it like that. And, you know, then we could do things like this. I could say like power, we'll actually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll replace this print with our first pretty print method there. So we're going to say here, print button, we'll say print button power. And then we're going to say, press the button and we'll press the power button. And we're going to store the return state into power. And then we'll print the button again. And we should find that it goes off now. And then if I were to say power is equal to press the button, and let's say I press it twice in a row. If I press it twice in a row, then it should be the same state as it was before. It should be off still. So we press the button twice, and then we print the button, and it should be still off at that point, right? It should still be off if we press it twice. So let's see what we get here. Run this here. Oops, what did I do here? Two errors generated. Uh, Undeclared use of identifier button. Oh, did I do something wrong there? Button. Oh, I said button instead of power there. That's my mistake. It's power, not button. I gave it the wrong variable name. Okay, so we'll run this again here. And we get that it's on initially. That makes sense. We press the power button. Now it's off when we print it. Then we press it twice and it's still gonna be off, right? Because it just goes from on, it just goes from off to on and then on to off again. And then we print the button and it's off again. And so this is an example of, a simple example though, but of, of how we would use the enum type in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.